Okay, this is just a short tutorial how to enable smart audio on Tyro 79 which comes with uh, the following flight controller level as a mini 405 DJI pad. So you can see that the uh, the flight controller is uh, labeled as a mini 405 uh, and some Tyro they comes with um, different flight controller and most of the tutorial available online also uh, comes with a different flight controller than the one that came in my uh, package to enable uh, smart audio you need to connect uh, between T5 uh, from the flight controller to the uh, data on the VTX so uh, you need to, 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 to take a wire and then solder from the VTX data pad to the T5 of the flight controller so T5 here basically uh, uh, you are uh, 5 uh, in the beta flight so that uh, you need to solder carefully solder because the pad is quite small from t5 to the data pad okay so carefully solder between these two pads and then uh, once you completed uh, you can go to the beta flight Okay, next you need to connect to your beta flight and go to the uh, port enable uh, your VTX TVS smart audio uh, by selecting uh, your 5 so do that and hit save and reboot and then you need to go to the black box and select serial port with a uh, smart audio so the reason why we need to turn on black box is that we need to know which version of smart audio to use so to do that you need to make sure that you turn on this uh, debug mode okay so next you need to go to the um, video transmitter and by default you don't have this you don't have the vtx table so you need to load vtx table and you need to go to this page uh, but before that you need to know uh, which version of a smart audio that you are running so you need to select sensor and turn on your battery okay so to be able to determine your smart audio version you need to look at this debug here so the x value here uh, basically determine your version your smart audio version so for example mine is 216 so which means that i'm running version 2.1 so if you're running uh, one, uh, 100 so which means that you're in version 1.0 or if you're running 200 you are in version 2.0 okay so go ahead and unplug that so the reason that we need that uh, because of the sensor here so you need to get this information uh, but if you don't have the sensor you need to turn on this debug and make sure that your black box is uh, uh, configured to smart audio okay so make sure you you have that information okay turn on this but you can disable you you can turn off the other uh, sensor information you need just debug information to be able to determine your smart audio version okay once you determine your smart audio version you can go back to the uh, video transmitter and then you can go to this page and you can go ahead and download uh, the corresponding smart audio uh, version so since i'm running on this 2.1 version so you can choose uh, version 2.1 uh, USA, right click and save uh, the, the file. This is a JSON file. So save the file somewhere. 
So once you save the file, and then you can just uh, go back and load from file. Okay, so once you load from file, you select the file with the editable that you just downloaded, and then you should be able to 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 have the with the editable here. Uh, but there are a few things that I I made some changes. Uh, because my version, uh, VTX version, basically, uh, in the following uh, power level, 25, 100, 200, and 400. So I changed this, uh, this uh, power level. So power level 0, 1, 2, 3. So the first one is 25, the second one is 100, uh, that one 300, and the last one is a 400. Um, and then I've changed the name. Band A, Band B, E, F, and Raise Band. Uh, and then uh, you can uh, select your frequency from here. So I'm running by Band F and with channel 7. So Band F, channel 7, uh, if you refer to the, um, to the Tyro 79 uh, channel, so you can see that this is the, the table. So I'm running channel 7. Band F, which is the airwave here, so 5860. So this is my uh, my channel, my uh, band. Okay, so set the power level and save. So you want to save this as a lost script or you want to save this file, you can save this file uh, as a backup. So once you have done that, uh, you can just uh, go back to your uh, configuration and everything, save and reboot. Okay, and then you can disconnect from there. Okay, next you can check from your Google and turn on your transmitter and your Tyro and use your stick to check your smart audio so you can browse around using your stick up and down and then access all the smart audio data so you can change your data you can check your firmware you can check you can change your um, your vtx you can change your band so all the smart audio functions feature, features are uh, enabled all right so i think that check how to enable smart audio in your tyro